So I want to forewarn that if you come here to whatever, have hatred of Aaron Smith Levin, listen, Aaron will only make a guest cameo appearance at the beginning and at the end. The main brunt here will be on Joe Kelly and the Grant Cardone puzzle. And of course, Tom Cruise, because you can't avoid Tom Cruise. So anyway, so Aaron Smith Levin made a recent video on Joe Rogan about the contradictions or paradoxes of people who criticize Scientology. And again, he's glad that Joe Rogan and Kelly are critical of Scientology. He just wants them to go further and notices some hypocrisies. Now, Aaron has been caught in his own scandals. I've done some recent videos on this. I will do more videos if you're puzzled. Like, well, what, what scandals? Literally, just you can just click on the videos. They're right there. But in brief, he's got many money, sex, and other kinds of scandals. He's a very scandalous guy. But now let's jump to the more interesting topics with Kelly and Joe, who are very prominent media figures. And again, they've platformed people who are intense anti-Scientologists. So the question is, especially with Kelly, and Joe has his own issues, but I want to concentrate mainly on Kelly. Kelly is friends with, and there's no doubt about it, Grant Cardone. She's very open about it, that she and Grant Cardone are very friendly with one another. They have business ties. So the puzzle is that Kelly has no issue with being intensely, and I mean intensely, critical of Tom Cruise and Tom Cruise and his role with the church. And nobody denies Tom is very proud with the church. He's given a lot of money. He is deeply embedded in the cult. And he and David Miscavige, the titular leader of the cult, are very close. Now, whether they're actual friends, that they even like one another, we don't know. I mean, we just have conflicting testimonies. However, there's no doubt Tom is a deep, deep part of Scientology. So maybe it's a level of intensity because Grant Cardone, yes, he's rich, he is famous, he has given a lot of money to Scientology, but he's not in this like upper super elite small circle where David Miscavige considers him like the guy, I need to take care of this guy. If we lose this guy, we lose all the Scientology. Grant is not at that level. He is huge in the world of Scientology, but again, remember, good or bad, Scientology has literal billionaires. Now, granted, these billionaires are not like Bill Gates billionaires. They're not like super billionaires, but you have people with immense wealth within Scientology. So even there, Grant is big, but you know, there are, quote, the whales, the really, really big people. And Grant is not in that circle. So maybe Kelly's just saying, well, at the level of complicity, he's not as complicit. But I, I don't think that's what's going on. I, I think the answer is something like this. Again, I'm not excusing it. I'm explaining it. I think for Kelly with Tom, and again, I don't hate Tom as much as other people, but even I cannot deny that his life is um pretty weird. It's a pretty strange life. And that's even before Scientology. He had just a very interesting, strange upbringing. But then when you mix in Scientology, it gets more and more crazy. Auditioning wives, tapping phones, secret operations, taking your staff and putting them through these physical, and I mean very intense physical experiences. Again, allegedly, we don't know for sure. Having his children embrace the cult through doc indoctrination. It's all very weird. It's all very, very disgusting and all very question marks about him leaving Nicole, leaving Mimi, because they're not Scientologists enough. And even Katie is like, you're not a Scientologist enough. I've got to leave the situation. It's like, it's just a set of very weird things. So I think from Kelly's perspective, good or bad, Grant Cardone does cultivate this image of the family guy. He's just a businessman. And whenever he tries to talk about Scientology, he's very evasive. He really doesn't talk about it. But not Tom, at least when Tom was really doing propaganda he was intense like tom was not ashamed he was like i just love scientology i just love my Elron. i just love cob i just love david and grant doesn't really talk like that he's just really like flip-flopping all the way through the people ask him like well what exactly what do you what do you get out of the scientology what exactly is scientology you ask grant cardone straight on he's like oh you know you know i go to the thing you know i parishion you know, I'm just a parishioner, and you're the chaplain, and, you know, we're out of service, you know, me and my wife and the kids, and, you know, we parishion, but, you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a parishioner, and, you know, I'm just like everyone else, you know, I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to be, you know, what I can be in my religions, you know, I parishions, and you're like, well, what does that mean exactly? Oh, you know, I just take the lessons, you know, I didn't, I do depressions, and I do depressions, and you're not going to go any further, he's just going to keep going in that circle. I mean, he doesn't give 
intense small details, but he will talk about it. He's not hiding anything. He's very prominent at events. He doesn't hide that he's a Scientologist. I, I guess from Kelly's perspective, it's like on the weirdo scale, Tom Cruise is like a 10. And good or bad, from her perspective, she can say, well, Grant, yeah, I don't like the Scientology stuff, but I don't know. He's always normal and nice around me. And yes, you know, Grant is giving her money. So obviously, you know, she's like, oh, I like money. So it could just be total corruption. But I, I wouldn't say that. I mean, Kelly is already making enough money. I'm guessing the Grant Cardone extra bump is nothing to laugh at. But I, I wouldn't say she's corrupt in terms of the money sense. I, I, I honestly think she probably buys the image saying, I don't know. I'm around the wife and the kids. They seem really normal. So it's like, so then does she really hate Scientology or does she hate Tom Cruise? Like, what is she really criticizing with Tom Cruise? Because it's not just Tom Cruise. She does criticize other Scientologists and she does not like Scientology, period. So you're like, is she just being a hypocrite? I, I don't think so. I think just Grant, for whatever reason, he is considered, quote, more normal among Scientology people and, quote, the outside world than other Scientologists. Is that fair? I don't think so. I, I don't trust Grant. I'm very suspicious of Grant. I, I think this whole thing is very much a doctored image. It's not really who he is. On the other hand, I'd have to be honest and say that, yeah, I've, you know, private and public, he just doesn't seem as that intense or doctrinal versus Tom Cruise. And Tom Cruise, in private as well as public, is very intense about Scientology. He's like, I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand. Me and Elrond, me and C.O.B. and Elrond, and Dave, we're saving the world. We're saving the world. Don't you understand? And then uh, Grant Cardone doesn't have those aspirations. He's not this world messiah that's trying to destroy and recreate the whole universe. He's like, oh, you know, I'm a business guy, and you know, I parishion, you know, I got the 10 rule. You know, I'm just trying to spread the parishions, you know, I spread the good word, you know, da 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 So he just does a better job of coming off more normal relative to Tom. Now, is that a good standard? I don't think it is, but I guess you just have to see with Joe and Kelly. It's like, yeah, yeah, I, I understand that. And believe me, listen, there's a lot to mock about Scientology. I'm going to keep doing that, but that's more the external superficial side. There's a much more sinister core. We should be focused on that. Yes, it is true. Tom makes for good headlines, and he always does stuff that is really just genuinely crazy in many ways of of course it's used to make fun of but grant is doing something very similar granted the way he does it no pun intended does come off less sinister but i, I still think it's pretty sinister but i guess from her perspective it's like well i don't know he seems to keep acting normal around me and it will happen there will be that one in a million case with scientology like well this organization is really evil but the guy is really good like john travolta like travolta seems like a genuinely nice guy I don't think Grant Cardone is a Travolta, though. I, I don't think he's a decent guy. I, I think he's just very, very good with the PR. And he's just convinced people, you know, relative to Tom, he is, I guess, the most normal Scientologist you will find in the local area. But I don't know. I, I suspect that normality is not exactly as normal as people think it is. It is still highly sinister, in my humble opinion.